I'm the head coach of the Tampa Bay Strong Dogs. Well, the Strong Dogs started about eight years ago, uh, a joint venture between the Hillsborough County Parks and the Tampa VA Hospital. Uh, we got together, this, there's a lot of interest in playing wheelchair basketball. So we uh, got together, came up with a plan how to do it, got some funding from U.S. Paralympics, and started our first season, uh, I believe it's 2008. Went to our first nationals that year. Came in, uh, went in ranked 23rd, came out ranked 18th. So that was our, basically our first year. I think this team of the last eight years, that's our whole philosophy, is being a family, you know. And I think this team winning a championship, which I think they had the great opportunity to do, you know, would be a great thing because they're a family. You know, it's not gonna be just one guy, it's gonna be the whole team winning this championship. And, you know, people ask me sometimes, Coach, what are you gonna do when you win a championship? I tell them, I'm not gonna win a championship the player's gonna win a championship. I'm just the guy steering the boat. Uh, Gregory J. Lewis Seals. I'm uh, actually an assistant coach uh, for the Tampa Bay Strong Dogs. I think our greatest equality is our uh, tenacity. You know, we really are, have great players on the team, young and old. Uh, I think we bring that together with the knowledge we have on the team to share with the youth, the younger, stronger guys. Uh, we actually got a guy getting ready to go off to school, go off to college to play ball. So I think we really preparing him for what, what life has to offer. And not necessarily so much basketball, but the college life in general. Uh, my name is Adrian Powell. I'm 20 now. I used to play soccer before my injury. And I was a goalkeeper. And, and then this summer, I, at my, my freshman year of high school, I ended up getting shot. I came up here and found out about wheelchair basketball. And that's when I found out about the strong dogs. And, I came to one practice and then from then on I just kept coming. The first two years was pretty rough, like I couldn't even make it to the rim, like the shooting and stuff, I never had to scream. But uh, after a while I got used to it, like I kept coming in the gym, got in the gym as much as I could. And I got like I started getting the hang of it and from then on I just started rolling. <laughs> my first year at Nationals, I, we went to the championship, that was my first year at Nationals. And I ended up getting like first team all tournament. That's the top five players in the tournament. And that just made me like want more. Like I made it all the way to the finals and couldn't get that that ring. as just <laughs> made me more hungry. Like I felt like I could be a lot better too. I can. I still had a lot more work to do. Mm -hmm. My first year at national was like that was probably one of the, the best I've ever played since playing with the basketball man. A lot of coaches were out there and they seen me and this, the coach from there, he just came, he came and spoke to me and he gave me a, he offered me a, a grant to come and play, play in Texas. And he watched me from there and then he just offered me a scholarship and said he'd like me to come play there. And I accepted it. Man, I wanted to go as far as I can take it, man. Like, if I can, if I can, I'd like to go overseas and play play or like to Spain or somebody to, to get that level of play and then come back home. Probably play play a little more before I start coaching and stuff because I really want I really want to be a coach or something. Like I don't want to play basketball forever. I, I love playing it but I don't want to play competitively forever.
That's what we're really trying to uh, build the program around, giving these guys a chance to go off and play college basketball or to get entered into colleges and things of this nature, even if they don't play basketball, just to further their education and just live a normal life. My name is Michael McClendon II. I'm 37 and I've been playing with the Strong Dog for five years. Well, in basketball, you have to be aggressive. I always play to a beat. It's always a beat in my head, playing to get a rhythm with shooting and dribbling. And I've never been on the team personally that's as good as this one. Like that has as much talent as this one. It's usually one or two guys. Everybody on the floor can score and really beat you. The best basketball players in the world play in wheelchairs because if you put somebody like a LeBron James or a Kevin Durant in a wheelchair, the game would come way down. Uh, some of these guys, like I said, can do some amazing things in these wheelchairs that you could take an average, everyday, uh, able-bodied athlete and put him in a chair, and these guys were wearing circles around them. It's, it's amazing the things they can do in wheelchairs. These guys are better athletes because they have to play in the chair.